right, here we go. Salute to Knicks Nation on this Sunday afternoon. Another edition of KFTV Post Game Live matinee edition of the show. And today, the Charlotte Hornets would come to town with LaMelo Ball. A little bit shorthanded out. No Terry Rozier, no defensive stopper Frank Nilakina. So they would have mm. to make do. And for the Knicks... Hey, the Knicks big three is clicking on all cylinders. He had an easy day for R.J. Barrett, Julius Randle, and Jalen Brunson. The block nest monster, Mitchell Robinson, was dominant. And the Knicks bench is continuing to pick up momentum and gain chemistry. This was an easy one, folks. 129 to 107. The Knicks make light work out of the Charlotte Hornets for win number three in a row. Uh, this was an easy one for the Knicks, man. Coast to coast, no problems. Had no problem. I mean, this game, it was a it was an offensive game to start out. I mean, both teams shooting the ball very well. Uh, LaMelo just getting into the paint, doing what he wanted to do. Uh, for the Knicks, same same thing, man. Just being able to get into their offense and impose their will. Uh, I like Julius' approach today. Great game by him. 23 points for Julius. 8 of 16 from the field. Efficient night for him. Yeah, Jalen Brunson, 20.7-12 for JB. And then RJ, once again, 24 points, 9 of 16 from the field. 4 of 6 from downtown. Emmanuel quickly contributing with 17 points. 9 assists for quick. 5 of 9 off the bench. My key takeaway is this, bro, and, and, I'll, and I'll get into, you know, picking apart the game. My key takeaway is this. This is three in a row. This offense is starting to click, starting to gel. Big three is getting into a rhythm. RJ's been there. He started there. Julius is getting there. Brunson is getting there. And they're clicking at the right time with the bench unit, with Mitch. I want Boston, bro. Tomorrow night, I want mm. revenge in Boston. I don't care. This is game number 10. I want revenge in Boston. And look, this is an imp this is a, an important five-game road trip in which you play Boston and Minnesota, one of the hottest teams in the league right now. So that's my main takeaway from this game in a wash. It's good to get into a rhythm and get on the right track as you head in onto the road. Look, we saw Thibodeau rest the starters throughout the entire fourth quarter today that's how much of a light yeah. work it was for the knicks today okay as you said they're clicking on all cylinders we're seeing the knicks passing cp i don't know if i've ever seen the knicks passing look as so crisp and executed as well as we've seen today like the knicks are passing much better than they have last season and it's gotten a lot better over the last few games the last four games it's been much better i have stats and we're I'm gonna get to that later but to your point Yes, I don't want to, like, it's revenge time, okay? Yeah. Boston came to your house. They ruined your opening day, home opener. You got to give it right back to them, make it sour for the Bostonians so that way they see an, another L, man. You went 3-1 yeah. and one last season against the Boston Celtics. You beat them twice on their home court last year. Continue that trend for this season. Go to Boston tomorrow. We won't Show revenge. them on the – on the second back on the second leg of a back to back, yeah, that it doesn't bother you, okay? And Mitch, I'm gonna I'm calling out Mitch for this. Let's one, go, all right? Let's go. Talk. Christos Porzingis embarrassed you, game one, man. Mm. He okay? You got to go out there and be like, look, man, not t not this time, not today. You got to put a body on him. Make sure that he works tomorrow. You got to get revenge, Mitch. Point blank. Period. Everybody chipped in here. I loved how Randall didn't leave anything for the haters. Yeah. Today. RJ's looking like the second coming of Paul Pierce. Is that a hot take? Ooh, very hot. Very hot. But hey, <laughs> he's he's doing it his way. That's all I'll say. He's doing it his way and, and he's and he's impacting the game. Looking really good. And and I love how DiVincenzo, Hart. They're they're just it's like a, a second look to yeah. the next Knicks. Yeah. You got your thunder and then you got your lightning. How, how about and, the, how about the play when when Hart was leaving his feet and that's just their chemistry. Divincenzo being a great cutter as well, cutting along the baseline, finds Divincenzo for the cut, gets a nice little scoop layup. Nice one. What, what I I love that move and what I hate to say is Frank Nilkina would not have cut. No. <laughs> <laughs> I love oh, Frank, but he would not have cut there. Yeah. 
no, he, no. He, he just wouldn't have. It and w- and this is a out. kind of like a culmination of like our front office building the right way and the Knicks just taking care of business. Blowing yep. out a take bad team. Take care of business, man. man. Yep. That's all we asked for, right? Just take care of business. And, you know, I, I just love how we're, we're, we're building this team. And I'm really, really looking forward to, to what, uh, what lies next right now. Go. If you're not hype right now, you better get hype, man. Shout out to you guys, man. Shout out to Alex. Y'all heard Randall on that little clip right there. This show is for the fans, by the fans, but the players listen. Yeah. The players listen. Alex, he, you've been telling him that all season. Okay? Yeah. Let's go, man. I'm hyped by this team right now. RJ, you know how much I love me some RJ, man. So seeing this, seeing y'all give him his flowers, all this, hold your apologies. We hold these guys to a certain standard. Okay? So we don't apologize when they're not playing bad. Okay? That's that. Okay, but I love what RJ's doing. I yeah. love what everybody, I even love what Randall's doing. You know, he's getting a lot of flack right now, but we said it a, a few games ago when he almost had the triple double. He doesn't seem like the Randall who's who's really, you know, out here. He's just looking for his shot. And, and once he finds it, kind of how he's been his past couple games, man, you see how dangerous we can be, man. You see yeah. this, man. Yeah. We out rebounded the Bucks. With the second unit, I think this can work as well. So, Al, great show. See you tomorrow, man. NBA report, ladies and gentlemen. Join us Monday, 3 p.m. Eastern time on the NBA report. Tap in, man. TP the franchise, Al Sotaros. Great show.